tree. The fruit harvest. Come on, everyone. Let's get a move on. Hi, Ben. Hi, Holly. Where are you all going? It's harvest day. Can we come too? Hop aboard. <laughs> Today's the day we pick all our fruit on the farm. To make fruit pies. Then tonight we have a harvest dance. I love dancing. Me too. Morning, all. Morning, wise old elf. It's harvest time. Hooray! To the strawberry patch, everyone. It's been a good year for strawberries. Yes, we've grown loads of them. Here we are, the strawberry patch. Oh, but where are all the strawberries? They're gone, all eaten. But that's crazy. Incredible. There were lots of strawberries here yesterday. What could have eaten them? I don't know. I've never seen anything like it. There's still the apples. To the orchard, Mr Elf. Here we are, the apple orchard. Right, pick the apples. But there are no apples. What? It's impossible. There were loads of apples here yesterday. Something very odd is going on. No strawberries, no apples. What's eating them all? It could be locusts. Yes, stories tell of insects called locusts who arrive in their millions, swarming all over the fruit and eat it all up in seconds. They eat and eat and eat and eat and eat. Yes, and eat. Thank you, Mrs Elf. We get the idea. But locusts don't wear size 10 shoes. <gasps> what is it? It's a footprint. Our fruit hasn't been eaten by a swarm of locusts. This is the work of a swarm of gnomes. <gasps> gnomes! Wise old elf, how many gnomes does it take to make a swarm? Just the one. Gnomes have a huge appetite. They can't stop themselves eating. If they see food, they eat it. That's right. They eat and eat and eat and eat. Yes, and... yes, Mrs Elf. So, does it mean there'll be no fruit harvest and no dancing? Yes. No, because there's always blackberries. They grow in the wild. Mm. Blackberries. But we have to get to the blackberries before the gnome does. How do you stop a gnome from eating everything? Well, they used to say, to scare off a gnome, bring an orange from home. Yes, we tried that once. What happened? He ate the orange. Yes, gnomes like all fruit. The only thing they like more than fruit is pie. Here we are. The blackberries are still here. Thank goodness. No time to waste. Begin the harvest, everyone. Right on. Picking blackberries is one of the most dangerous jobs for an elf. Why? Because elves are quite small. And blackberry bushes are covered in big thorns. And the best berries are very high up. Oh, I can't reach it. Let me help. <laughs> That's tasty. Ah, the gnome! Hello. Nice to see you. Well, it's not nice to see you. Oh, that's a shame. Normally, I'm very popular. Are you? Uh, no. Everyone hates me. Well, I'm not surprised. You've eaten our strawberries and our apples, and now you're eating our blackberries too. Oh, dear. I'm terribly sorry. I didn't realise they were yours. Mmm, <coughs> delicious. Stop it. Stop it. Stop eating everything. <coughs> I can't help it. Sorry. <coughs> He's really good at picking blackberries. Yes. <coughs> the thorns don't bother me. I have a thick skin. Why don't we ask the gnome if he'll pick blackberries for us? Clever Holly! Then we can still have our harvest and our harvest dance. Harvest dance? Oh, I like dancing. Can I come? No! I'll take that as a yes. What time does it start? Mr Nime, you can come to the dance if you pick some blackberries for us. 
It's a deal. We'd like this truck filled up with blackberries. Thank you. No problem. One blackberry coming up. Oh, it's a nice one. <coughs> Delicious. Not in your mouth, in the truck. Oh, yes. Sorry. Don't worry. This time I'll... Oh, a blackberry. Yum, yum. <coughs> no, 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 no. This isn't going to work if you keep eating them. Whoops-a-daisy. I do apologise. This time I'll make sure I... Oh, a blackberry. <coughs> Sorry, I ate it again. Oh, this is useless. Every time he has food in his hand, he just eats it. That's just what gnomes do. They eat and eat and eat and right. eat it's and eat and eat Right, it's time for plan B. What's plan B? You'll see. I'll be back in a moment. Mr Elf, do you know what plan B is? No, but if it's the wise old elf who's come up with it, it's bound to be very clever. Or very stupid. Ta-da! As you see, I am dressed as a pie. Why are you dressed as a pie? Gnomes love pie more than anything in the world. So, every time Mr Gnome is about to eat a blackberry, I will run in front of him dressed as a pie. Won't that be dangerous? Yes, very. That's why it's plan B. This time, I promise I'm not going to eat it. Ooh, look at that. <coughs> Silly me, I did it again. Focus, Mr Gnome. Right, this is it. No more. Oh, a blackberry! Hey there, Mr. Gnome! Look over here! I'm a pie! Oh, a pie! Oh, sorry. Thought I saw a pie. Never mind. Here's a lovely blackberry for me. Hey, wouldn't you rather eat a pie? Oh, yes, I would. Delicious pie! Don't eat me. Oh, a talking pie. That'll be tasty. I'm not a pie. I'm not a pie. Not a pie? What are you then? I'm the wise old elf. Oh, what are you doing here? Let's put you down again. Oh, look, a blackberry. Oh, here we go again. Hey there, Mr. Gnome! Look down here! I'm a pie! Oh, a pie! Oh, this is going to be a long afternoon. Where on earth can they be? It's been ages. And we can't start the harvest dance without them. Well, it looks like we can't have a dance then. Aww. <laughs> Here we are with the fruit harvest. Blackberries. What happened to the strawberries? The gnome ate them. The gnome? Oh, no. What about the apples? The gnome ate them, too. Well, I'd like to give this gnome a talking to. You can if you like. He's here. Hello. Yeah. What's he doing here? He helped pick the blackberries for us. So we invited him to the dance. Oh. He ate 2,000 blackberries. But we got ten for us. Uh, nine. I ate one on the way here. Sorry. Anyway, there's still enough for a big pie. Excellent. Then let the harvest dance commence. Hooray! <laughs> This is a bit boring. <gasps> Let's get this party started. Take your partners, please. Swing to the left. Step to the right. Wiggle your hips. Spin around and get a bit dizzy. <laughs> <laughs> Hooray! It's traditional that the first slice of pie goes to the person who picked the most fruit. Oh, who's that then? That's you. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> Spring. 
fun time. Wow, look at all the lovely tulips. Yes, Holly, it's the first day of spring. Wow, there's a flower right outside our window. All the daffodils have come up. I love springtime. Ben, Ben, are you coming out to play? I'll be right down. Have you seen all the flowers? Yes, and oh, those leaves are moving. There's something in there. It's coming out. Ah! <laughs> Ooh, a little hedgehog. <laughs> Gaston's frightened him. He's rolled up into a ball. Sorry, Mr. Hedgehog. Oh, a hedgehog. <laughs> He's woken up for the spring. Woken up? Yes, some creatures sleep all through the winter. Don't they get very hungry? They make sure they have a big meal before going to sleep. Oh, there's something else waking up. And it's big. It could be a bear. It could be a... Hello there. Ah! The gnome! Do gnomes sleep through the winter too? Yes, and when they wake up, they're very hungry. Ah, what's for breakfast? Uh, Mr Gnome, wouldn't you like to sleep a bit more? Hey, what do you mean? Uh, maybe it's not springtime yet. We could still get some snow. Eh, Nanny Plum? Ow! Stop it! It could snow at any moment, couldn't it? Ow! I don't think so. It could snow if magic was used. Oh! You want me to magic some snow so he'll think it's still winter. Shh! Why didn't you say so? Oh, dear me, it's snowing. I'd better go back to sleep. Hang on. Over here, it's sunny and there's flowers. You try to trick me. Ha-ha-ha! <laughs> I like a good joke. Shame I don't know any. I've had some funny dreams, though. Would you like to hear them? Uh, no, thank you. Yes, there's nothing so boring as other people's dreams. Anyway, I dreamt I was in this rowboat and the oars were made of cheese. Then a lot of pigeons wearing pyjamas started chasing me. How interesting. <gasps> There's lots more to tell. But first, I need food. Hello there. Ah! I mean, hello, Mr Gnome. This looks like a nice comfy house. I wouldn't mind living here. Uh, you can't live here. I like a man who speaks his mind. We'll have some good chats while I'm living here. Mr Gnome, we'd really love to have you stay, but the front door is too small for you. Well, if you really want me to stay, I'll try my best. <laughs> Nearly there. Just my bottom to go. Hello, everyone. It's a bit of a squeeze in here. I'll just move this little staircase. He's eating everything! <clears throat> What's for dessert? <coughs> Save your food! Mr Gnome, wouldn't you rather live somewhere with other gnomes? Oh, no. Gnomes don't like other gnomes. Gnomes tell very boring stories. You never get two gnomes living within a hundred miles of each other. Hello? Nanny Plum, you must come back to the little castle at once. Sorry, King Thistle, but we're having a problem with a gnome. What? But I've got a gnome at the castle. Is there any more toast? There must be two gnomes. <laughs> no need to panic. What do you mean? You heard what the gnome said. Gnomes don't like other gnomes. We just have to get them together. When they see each other, they'll run a mile. Problem solved. Yay! We'll arrange for both gnomes to meet each other at Big Hill. You seem to be out of food. Have you tried the breakfast tree on Big Hill? Breakfast tree? Never heard of it. Oh, it's amazing, isn't it, Nanny Plum? Ow! What did you nudge me for? Yes, over on Big Hill, there's a tree that grows sausages and eggs and bacon. Is there? I've never seen it. Ow! You don't even know you're doing it. Nanny, he 
wants you to magic one. Oh, I see. You want me to magic up a breakfast tree? Shush. OK, then. Hmm. I can smell breakfast from here. Hello. Quick, Your Majesty. Tell your gnome that there's a breakfast tree on Big Hill. Ooh! They say that breakfast don't grow on trees, but my, my! A tree with eggs, bacon, sausages and toast. The most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Look, they're about to meet and run a hundred miles from each other. Uh, a gnome! What are you doing here? I could ask you the same question. Go on, then. What are you doing here? I like breakfast. Would you like to know why? No. I'll take that as a yes. It's because I like fried eggs and sausages and bacon and pancakes and... <coughs> You've eaten it all! Well, if you didn't talk so much, you could do some eating. Right! I'm going a hundred miles away from you. I'm going a thousand miles away from you. It worked. They've both left the little kingdom. What a brilliant plan. Well done, Nanny Plum. Thank you, King Thistle. <clears throat> it was my idea, Your Majesty. No, it wasn't. I thought of getting them together. I magicked up the breakfast tray. Let's just say elf cleverness and fairy magic has saved the day. Yay! She loves me. She loves me not. She loves me. She loves me not. She loves me. Still here! We thought you'd uh, gone far away. I tried, but I just can't get her out of my head. That lady gnome's beautiful, isn't she? Do you like the way her eyes sort of sparkle? For pity's sake, can't we talk about something else? OK, then. Don't you think she has pretty ears? Oh, this is terrible. He's in love with her. That's springtime for you. He's a fine figure of a gnome, isn't he? Oh, yes. And hasn't he got a nice big tummy? If you say so. I've made up a song about him. Would you like to hear it? No. I'll take that as a yes. Oh, look, I think he's coming. <gasps> Is he? How do I look? Is my hat on straight? Oh, it's you. I thought you'd gone. Yes, well, I, I just... That is to say, I, er... Uh... That's the first time I've seen a gnome lost for words. Would you like to hear a song I've written? <laughs> yes. I'll take that as a yes. Oh, my lady gnome has lots of lovely hair and lots of pretty eyes and ears so fair. <laughs> I like it. I'm Gloria. They're friends now. Gloria, will you be my own lady gnome and live with me forever in the little kingdom? Yes, I will. Come, my dear. I'll show you your new house. Here we are. This is where we'll be living. Ooh! Whose idea was it to get them together? Nanny Plum, Your Majesty. No, it wasn't. It was your idea. Well, you made the breakfast tree. You told me to. Stop! Stop! What are we going to do about it? We can have a big wedding. Hello again. I'm afraid we have some bad news. What is it now? We've had a look at the elf tree and Gloria feels it's a bit tiny. I'm sorry we didn't design our elf tree for gnomes to live in. Nice of you to apologise, but it's still too small. And your castle isn't really to our taste. It's too old-fashioned. Old-fashioned? And drafty. So I'm afraid we'll have to find somewhere else. Oh, well, goodbye. It's a shame we won't see you ever again. Oh, don't worry. We'll be back for our holidays. See you next spring. The dwarf mine. <laughs> Catch, Barnaby. See you 
strawberry. To you, Holly. Whoa! What was that? I don't know. It was coming from the old dwarf mine. But isn't the dwarf mine empty? Yes, I think so. I can hear voices. Was loud. We'd better tell the grown-ups. Wise old elf, there are noises in the mine. The mine? What mine? The old dwarf mine. You're not supposed to be in there. It's dangerous. We weren't in there. We just heard a big bang. Yes, and the ground shook. Whoa! Whoa. Like that. Oh no! The dwarves have woken up. Woken up? Yes. Deep inside the mine, the dwarves have been sleeping. They sleep for years and years. Then, when they wake up, they start to dig. What are they digging for? Precious jewels, gold, diamonds, gemstones. But digging for things doesn't make a big bang noise. It does when the dwarves do it. They carry out big explosions underground. And then dig through the mess. They just dig and dig and dig and dig and dig. Yes, yes, Mrs Elf. They keep digging until they are so tired they fall asleep again. They sleep and sleep and what sleep. What do dwarves look like? They're big. Bigger than us. Yes. Dwarves are huge. This is a worrying time. The whole of the little kingdom might get dug up. Holes everywhere. What are we going to do? Just hope. Hope they dig in the other direction. Hope they don't come anywhere near us. Morning all. Just letting you know there'll be some digging work in this area. Oh, no. We apologise in advance for any inconvenience caused to your journey. Journey? What journey? We're not going anywhere. No? I would if I were you. Look at this hole. Someone could fall in. Hmm. I think we need to talk to King Thistle. The wise old elf to see you, Your Majesty. Hmm? Dwarves, Your Majesty. Dwarves? They're back. No. I'm afraid so. We haven't had a dwarf infestation for years. But now they've woken up. I see. Well, they live underground mostly. Maybe they won't bother us. But they've already dug a hole by the elf tree. It's only one hole. Maybe you can turn it into a pond or something. Your Majesty, you don't understand. This is just the start. The dwarfs will dig up all of the little kingdom. Wise old elf, you worry too much. It will be fine. <laughs> Goodness gracious. I say, do you mind? What's that, mate? You've made a great big hole in my courtyard. Now, pal, don't get upset. Upset? My castle is falling over. Yeah, you want to get that fixed. Now, listen here. I'm the king. Oh, a complaint, is it? You'd better talk to the boss. Right, I will. Ding, ding, ding. Ding, ding, ding. Good work, ding, chaps. Ding, Keep it going. Ding, ding, Hello. Ding, I want ding, to speak ding, to the boss. Ding, is he... Hang on a minute. Oi, lads, ding, just pop down a second, OK? Right, you were saying... I want to speak to the boss. I'm the boss. Do you have an appointment? He doesn't need one. He's the king. A king doesn't make appointments. Not even at the hairdressers. Uh. Daddy doesn't have any hair. He's bald. Well, that's not our fault. Look, we want to complain about the noise. What noise? The noise from the mine. Oh, I can't hear anything. That noise. Now, look, I'm the king, and I'm commanding you to stop all the digging. Yeah, the thing is, though, you're only king above the ground, just to the topsoil. Below that, I'm the boss. But... We can't stop digging anyway. That's what we do. We won't stop until we've found gold and diamonds and gems. I've got 
got an idea. Nanny Plum can magic you up some gold and diamonds and gems. Good thinking, Holly. There we go. Problem solved. Now kindly stop digging. But I can magic up that stuff. Eh? Where's the fun in that? You have to dig for it. Now, if you don't mind, some of us have work to do. Come on, lads. Let's get digging. Well, that could have gone better. Let's go away and come up with another plan. So if no-one wants this treasure, can I have it? Yes, yes, take it. <laughs> Silence, please, everyone. Now, we are gathered here to discuss the dwarf problem. They're making loud bangs. They're digging holes everywhere. They've dug up my carrots. Yes, yes, we all know how annoying they can be. Can't you magic them away? No, fairy magic doesn't work on dwarves. I know how to get rid of the dwarves. We take all this treasure... Aww. ..sneak into the mine and bury the treasure deep down. Oh, and then the dwarves will dig it up. And they'll be happy and stop digging. Correct. Excellent plan. All right, Nanny Plum's in charge. Off you go. But it's my plan. OK, you can both be in charge. Thank you, Your Majesty. But I'm in charge, really. We need to bury the treasure deep down in the mine. But how do we get inside? The train! Clever Ben! Wait for me! Dwarf mine, here we come! <laughs> <laughs> wow! How deep is the mine? Deep, very deep. Hold tight, everyone. Oh, no! with all the dwarves around. I know. I'm good at voices. This is the dwarf boss. Come on, lads. Let's go, go, go. That's brilliant. Now watch this. All right, boys. Tea break. Tea break. OK, okay boss. <laughs> well done, Nanny Plum. No probs. Right, let's hide this treasure. Quickly now, dwarves never stop digging for long. Here they come! Gold! I found gold! There we go. Diamonds! There's diamonds here! Have we found treasure? Yes! And lots of it! Well done, lads! Keep digging! Eh? What do you mean, keep digging? In case there's more treasure, of course. We always dig twice as hard when we find treasure. Oh, no! What are you doing here anyway? This is the dwarf-only area. We put the treasure there for you to find. What? We thought you'd stop digging. We thought you'd be happy. Why, how thoughtful of you. And we thought you'd stop making that racket. Well, I suppose all the noise could be a bit upsetting. Yes, yes it is. And that's why we apologise in advance. Come on, lads, let's get digging. But, but... Ugh, all this digging has made me quite tired. Oh, me too, boss. Oh, oh. I think they're going to sleep. Yes, they've tired themselves out. Night, night, boss. Night, night, lads. Good. Now they'll sleep for years. They'll sleep and sleep and sleep and sleep. And then they'll wake up and start digging all over again. Yes, they'll dig and dig and dig and dig and dig. <laughs> The Queen Bakes Cakes. 
Hello, Mrs. Fig. Lovely autumn day, isn't it? Um, yes, wise old elf. Only problem is, the apples are starting to fall. Wow, that was close. So far, I've been lucky. They've all missed my magic school. Oh, that one didn't miss. Oh, dear. My poor magic school. Broken. Well, you're a fairy. Can't you just mend it with magic? No. Magic always leads to trouble. You don't like magic, do you, Mrs Fig? That's right, Holly. I want to mend the school the normal, sensible, safe way by using a builder. Well, you're in luck. I'm a builder, but it won't be cheap. We're going to need bricks, cement, roof tiles. I know. We'll have a cake stall. The money we make from selling cakes will pay for the repairs. A cake stall? It sounds fun. Let's tell everyone to get baking. Daddy! Daddy! An apple fell on Mrs Fig's magic school. And now the school has a big hole in it. Oh, dear. That's a shame. Mrs Fig is asking everybody to bake cakes to raise money. Bake cakes? Uh, well, don't tell your mother about that. About what, darling? Mrs Fig is running a cake stall. Oh, how exciting. I'll bake some cakes. R really? There's no need. Mrs Fig needs them today. Then I'd better start straight away. Oh, no. What is it, Daddy? Your mother is not very good at baking cakes. Oh. She bakes horrible cakes and she gets very upset if anyone doesn't like them. Dum dee dum dee 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 doo. That's odd. Who's in my kitchen? <gasps> the Queen baking cakes! Yes, Nanny Plum. Would you like to try a cake? Maybe later. Cakes! Cakes! The Queen's baking cakes! I know. We'll have to leave the country. Pack a bag, everyone. The Queen's cakes can't be that bad. They're worse than bad. There. Cake time! Who wants to try my lovely cakes? Uh, um, 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 uh, I've got rock cakes, fudge cake and gingerbread. They look lovely. In fact, they look too good to eat. You don't want to eat them, do you? You think they're horrid? No, no, no! I can't wait to try them. Have a rock cake. Ow! Did you just say ow? No, I said ew. Is it nice? It's inedible. I, I mean, incredible. But maybe I'll save it for later. Try the fudge cake. Ah, uh, isn't it someone else's turn? Don't you want my fudge cake? Of course I do. What do you think? <laughs> Tasty? <laughs> Are you all right, Daddy? Mama's stuck. What's he saying? I'm saying Mama's stuck. Oh, I think his mouth is stuck shut. <laughs> oh, that was horrific. You think the fudge cake is too sticky, don't you? You hate it. No, no, of course not, darling. It's uh, amazing. Oh, good. Try the gingerbread. Dunk it in your coffee. That will make it all soft and yummy. Um, the coffee's just rolled off it. It's completely dry. Take a bite. You know, maybe I'll save this one for later, too. OK, well, I can't stand around chatting. I've got loads more cakes to bake. Rock-hard rock cakes, super sticky fudge, waterproof gingerbread. We'll have to warn the whole of the little kingdom. The Queen's baking cakes! Ah! The Queen's baking cakes! Oh, no! I can't eat one of those cakes again. No one can eat them and survive. Hello! Cake time, everyone! Uh, yes, but you shouldn't have troubled yourself, Your Majesty. We already have lots of cake. You don't want my cakes! Oh, yes, we do! You think they're horrible, don't you? Of course we don't! Oh, 
Good, then. I'll put them here. That should raise lots of money to mend your school, Mrs Fig. Thank you, Your Majesty. Maybe I should have used magic to mend the school. It would have been less dangerous. Keep clear of the cakes. No one eat them. Ooh, cakes. Wait! Yow! What kind of a cake is that? It's a rock cake. Queen Thistle baked it. Oh, the Queen baking again. The fudge cake glues your mouth shut. And the gingerbread is waterproof. Incredible! What can these things be made of? I want to do some tests on these cakes. This machine tests how strong things are. Let's start with something very weak, like this egg. The egg had a strength of one. Now let's try a brick. The brick had a strength of five. Now let's try the Queen's rock cake. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's reached eleven. Eleven? Nothing has gone to eleven before. Stand by, <gasps> The cake broke the machine. That cake is the strongest substance known to man. The fudge cake stuck Daddy's mouth shut. Hmm. Let's test how sticky it really is. Stop, wise old elf! Don't touch the fudge cake! You'll be stuck to it forever! OK, let's just say the Queen has created the stickiest substance known to man. What about the gingerbread? Daddy dipped it in his coffee and it stayed dry. Let's see how waterproof it is. Amazing! The most waterproof substance known to man. These cakes must be locked away. They must never be eaten. Not eaten, no. But maybe they can be used for something else. I do hope I've made enough cakes. What if they need more for the cake stall? Trust me, they won't want any more cake. More cake, please. Really? Yes. As many as you can bake. And fudge cake. And gingerbread. Oh, goody. They love my cakes. I'd better get baking. Who's eating all these cakes? Eating them? No one's eating them. So why do you want more? These cakes are the perfect building material. The rock cakes are super strong bricks. We're gluing them together using the super sticky fudge cake. And then the super waterproof gingerbread makes great roof tiles. Amazing! But of course, you must never tell the Queen. Never tell the Queen what? Uh... Oh, Mrs Fig, you've mended the school. So you managed to raise enough money by selling my cakes. Um, let's just say your cakes were a great help. Yes, three cheers for Queen Thistle. Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip! Hang on. These bricks look just like my rock cakes. Uh, yes. And this cement is just like my fudge cake. It is my fudge cake. Oh, no! At least she hasn't spotted the roof. And the roof tiles are my gingerbread. You didn't want to eat my cakes. Well, they're not really for eating, are they, darling? Not if you want to survive. I thought everybody liked my cakes, but nobody did. I wish I'd never baked a single cake. <laughs> but, Mummy, if we hadn't baked any cakes, we wouldn't have mended the school. Holly is right. It's only because of your baking the magic school is fixed. I suppose that's true. Hooray for Queen Thistle! Hooray! In fact, we could do with some cakes to finish the chimney, if you don't mind baking some more. Could you make some bricks for my house? I want to build a patio. Do you do paving slabs? Well, I suppose I could. Do you do drain pipes? Do you do MDF? Everyone loves my mummy's cakes. Lucy Sleeper 
over. Isn't it lovely having a picnic in the Little Kingdom? What's the Little Kingdom? You know, Daddy, where our friends, the fairies and elves, live. Now, Lucy, we've talked about this. Fairies and elves don't exist. But they do, Daddy. Yes, darling. You've met them yourself. Oh, <laughs> it's a charming idea and I've joined in the game before. But let's not be silly. That's like saying talking animals exist. <laughs> Hi, Lucy. Ah, the talking animal. It's me, Ben Elf. Oh, hello, Ben. Why are you a rabbit? Holly magicked me into one by accident. <laughs> <laughs> ah! uh, was that a talking animal? Help, help. Rex, come back. <laughs> Rex, no, naughty dog. <laughs> Hello, Holly. Have you seen a talking rabbit anywhere? Yes, he was here just now. <laughs> here I am. Naughty Ben. When we magic you into things, you shouldn't run away. Can you change me back? Of course. <laughs> Phew, that's better. Now let's play a sensible game. Let's play catch. To you, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> to you, Violet. <laughs> I wish I could play in your games, but I'm too big. No problem. I can just shrink you down. Whoa! Wow, I'm tiny. <laughs> You're one of the little people now, Lucy. Will I be like this forever? No, only till the morning. You'll be big again tomorrow. Can you make Rex little too? <laughs> now you can do all the things we do. Ooh, can I go for a ride on Gaston? <laughs> OK, hold on to his feelers. Push forward to start. Whoa! And then pull back to fly. Would you like to see inside the great elf tree? Or the little castle? Or come to my house? Where is your house, Strawberry? Me and Violet live in the fairy village. Ooh, I'd love to see the fairy village. OK, follow me. <laughs> <laughs> Here we are, the fairy village. Wow, do you all live inside toadstools? Yes. We used to live inside mushrooms, but the big people kept picking them. No one eats toadstools. <laughs> <laughs> but there's no door to get in. Yes, there is. It's a magic door. You have to tap three times and spin around and say, Open Sesame. <laughs> See? Hello, everyone. Hello. Hello, Daddy. My dad's the fairy mayor. Yes, and you're here just in time for the meeting. What meeting? Emergency meeting! Emergency meeting! As your mayor, I have called an emergency meeting because there are big people in the meadow. <laughs> Two grown-ups, one little girl and a dog having a picnic. Now, as you all know, the big people are dangerous. I'll say they stepped on my granddad. And they ate my house. So we must be very careful. And if anyone sees any big people, sound the alarm. <laughs> I've seen a big person. What? Where? Who? Me. I'm a big person. Ah, a big person. Sound the alarm. Ah, big person. Oh, don't they like me? Don't worry, Lucy. It's not your fault you're a big person. You're a little person now anyway. Lucy is our friend. Yes, look at her feet. They're far too small to step on anyone. Yes, she does seem a bit small for a big person. Holly shrunk me down. Oh, I see. But Lucy is our friend, whether she is big or small. In that case, we are forgetting our manners. Lucy, would you like to join us for lunch as our special guest? Lunch? Sorry, I've just remembered. I'm having a picnic with Mum and Dad. We'll take you back. Come on. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 
That's true, darling. There really are elves and fairies. And talking rabbits? Well, that's a new one on me, but obviously there are. No, I can't believe it. We must have imagined it all. Hi, Mum. Hi, Dad. Ah! Lucy? Yes. Holly shrunk me down to be a little person today. Oh, that's nice, isn't it, darling? Hmm. <laughs> Don't worry, she won't be little forever. Just until the morning. I know, you could stay for a sleepover tonight. Oh, wow, could I? Of course, there's lots of room in the little castle. That would be brilliant. Can I? Uh, I think that would be fine. Have a nice time. Great. Bye, Mum and Dad. See you in the morning. <laughs> mm. Talking rabbits, elves... Fairies? Shrunken daughter? Come on, darling. Let's get you home. Yeah. Nanny, say hello to Lucy. Lucy? Who's Lucy? You know Lucy. Do I? She's normally a bit bigger. Oh, Lucy the big person. Hello. Normally a lot bigger, I'd say. I shrunk. Her down. Lucy has come to join us for a sleepover. Well, what will happen when she grows big in the morning? The castle will explode. Don't worry. We'll make sure Lucy is out of the castle before the morning. All right, then. And Gaston and Rex can sleep in the kitchen. What? Oh, all right, then. As long as they don't leave any muddy footprints. Oh! This is my bedroom. <laughs> we can have a midnight feast. Yes, you have to have a midnight feast at a sleepover. It's the law. <laughs> Gosh, I'm tired. Me too. And me. <sighs> is it midnight yet? No. <sighs> Midnight is still hours away. But I'm so sleepy. <sighs> <sighs> We've got to stay up until midnight, or it's not a real midnight feast. Dum dee dum dee 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 doo dee dee dee. Oh my goodness, Rex! What are you doing here? It's morning. You could grow big again any second. Out, out, quickly! You're starting to grow! Ah, out you go! Just in time! That could have been disastrous! <sighs> What's all the noise about? You woke us up! Holly, where's Lucy? Shh! She's still asleep! What? Well, wake her up! And get her out of the castle! Quickly! Before she gets big! Oh, yes! We forgot! Lucy! Lucy! Wake up! What's happening? You're growing! Whoa! Let's get out of here! Too late. Gosh, what a funny way to wake up. Lucy, are you all right? I'm fine, thank you. Morning, all. Is Lucy around? Uh, yes. I just wanted to say sorry. Big people aren't all about smashing our houses and stepping on us. Ow! Oops, sorry, Mr Mayor. I didn't mean to step on you. That's quite all right. I couldn't have been stepped on by a nicer person. Um, how am I going to get out of the castle? Oh, a bit of magic will fix that. Phew. Thanks, Nanny Plum. Lucy, home time. That's my mum. I've got to go now. Thanks for the great time. Yes, it was fun. Next time we'll come to your place. Ooh, that would be great. Bye. 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 There you are. Hi, Lucy. Did you have a nice time? It was the best sleepover ever, wasn't it, Rex? <laughs> <laughs> 
Billy Plum. <laughs> elephant! Elephant! Big! <laughs> What are the twins up to? They sound like a herd of elephants. They're being very noisy. Ah, oh, good. They've gone quiet. Quiet isn't good. It means they're up to something. You better go up and see, Nanny. Yes, Your Majesty. Daisy, Poppy, Dolly. Ah! <laughs> Daisy, Poppy, what have you done? Turn me back at once. Hello, I'm Dolly Plum. <laughs> Dolly Plum is lots of fun. <laughs> Nan is taking a long time. Should we have a look? You know what the twins are like. Naughty. Very naughty. I'm Dolly Plum. Change my nappy, please. <laughs> I didn't know the twins had a Nanny Plum doll. Mm, they don't. I think that is Nanny Plum. That's right. It is me. Can you please turn me back? Poor Nanny. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Not all this noise again. Couldn't you be a dolly for a while just to keep them quiet? No way. I have a lot of work to get on with. There's the washing and the iron. Ah! Dolly Plum, Dolly Plum. <laughs> ah, peace and quiet. Carry on, Nanny. Now what am I going to do? I won't get any work done if I stay like this. Don't worry, Nanny. I can turn you back. Oh, thanks, Holly. <laughs> now the twins are crying again. I know. The elves could make a Nanny Plum doll. Elves are good at making things. And I'm an elf. <laughs> good idea, Ben. Wise old elf. Can you make a Nanny Plum doll? It's for the twins. <laughs> well, now, what does this doll look like? Dolly Plum. Ah! Uh, it looks like that. Oh, I see. Daisy, Poppy, you turn me back this instant or I'll... I'm Dolly Plum. Feed me, please. <laughs> yes, I think we can make a copy of this. Come along, please. If I press your tummy, will you sing a song? Don't you even think of pressing my tummy. Dolly Plum is lots of fun. <laughs> you are indeed. You are indeed. So, how are you going to copy me? We'll use this copying machine. This is how it works. If we take this tennis ball and put it right here... <laughs> An exact copy. Ooh. Now for Dolly Plum. Um, actually, I've changed my mind. Can you put me down, please? I don't think I want to do this today. Thank you. Thank you, Nanny. You just have. What do you mean? What do you mean? Yes, Your Majesty. No, Your Majesty. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't sound like me. <laughs> it does a bit, Nanny. Dolly Plum. It's a perfect copy. Yes, and now that we've copied Nanny, we can make as many as we want. Hold on. Let's stick to one, just to keep the twins happy. I quite agree. One Nanny Plum is quite enough. Fine. Now, will someone please magic me back again? OK, Nanny. Oh, that's better. Now I can get on with my work. My, my dolly! Dolly! My dolly! My dolly! dolly. dolly. <laughs> oh, dear. They want a dolly each. <laughs> but we promised Nanny Plum we'd only make one. One more wouldn't <laughs> hurt. Just to keep the twins happy. <laughs> my dolly. My dolly. Hi, Ben. Hi, Holly. Ooh, look. It's a Nanny Plum doll. I'm Dolly Plum. I'm sleepy. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you get her? She's really funny. Can I have one? Me too. Me too. Oh, we're only supposed to make one, and I've already made two. Please. <laughs> well, I suppose it's all right to make a few more. 
What's this? Whatever. These are rather good. Are we making them? They're just a one-off. Uh, of ten. But they seem to be rather popular. Indeed. Perhaps we should make more. <laughs> da 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 da. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm Dolly Plum. <laughs> Dolly Plum. Careful with that, Daisy. It's the only dolly of its kind in the world. Dolly Plum. My Dolly Plum. Oh, it seems that there are two of them. <laughs> hmm, I'm going to have a word with that wise old elf. <laughs> ah, Nanny Plum. Don't you Nanny Plum me. I said make only one dolly and you've made two. Uh, yes. Sorry, Nanny Plum. Yes, well, don't let it happen again. Uh, right <gasps> He's made loads of them! He's lots of fun. <gasps> this is outrageous! Right! Wise old elf! Wise old elf! Where are you? <laughs> Just how many of these things have you made? <gasps> There's hundreds! Uh, thousands, actually. I don't believe it! But they are very popular. Let me show you one in its gift box. Gift box? Ooh, Dolly, Dolly Plum. Daisy, Poppy, don't you even think about... Ah! <laughs> Daisy, Poppy. Here we are. Oh, where's Nanny gone? Daisy, Poppy, turn me back at once. Hello, have you fallen off the production line? No, no, it's me. I'm not a toy. I'm Nanny Plum. Wise old elf, have you seen Nanny? She was here, but she seems to have vanished. <laughs> Daisy, Poppy, did you magic Nanny into a dolly again? Dolly! Dolly! Oh, no! Nanny must be in one of these boxes. Oh. But there are thousands of them. How are we going to find her? We'll have to open up every one. Oh, we'd better get started. Hug me, please. Hmm, too nice. You're my best friend. Too friendly. Oh, I thought I'd be stuck there forever. Thank you, wise old elf. Too polite. Wait! I really am the real Nanny Plum. No, no. You're a dolly. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. I'm not. You're just a very clever doll. I know. I made you. OK, smarty pants. If I'm just a doll, I wouldn't be able to do magic, would I? Of course not. Dollies can't do magic. Holly, one, please. I'm going to turn you into a slug. Ha! Ah, just you try. <laughs> OK. You are Nanny Plum. <laughs> Oof, that's better. Uh, Nanny, can you turn me back too, please? OK. Silly old elf, back to yourself. <laughs> you promised you'd only make one doll and you've made... But, Nanny, it's an honour to have a toy that looks like you. Oh, is it? Well, let's see how you like it. I'm a grumpy old elf. <laughs> <laughs> Very amusing, if you're quite finished. Nearly. I'm, I'm a grumpy old elf. I'm, I'm a grumpy old elf. elf. Now I'm finished. Oh, dear. How undignified. What are we going to do with all these? Well, Daisy and Poppy like them. Look. Elfie, Elfie. <laughs> you know, I think fairies are rather last year. This year, elf dollies will be the thing. I'm old and wise with twinkly eyes. Hmm, you are a handsome little fellow. I can see why the children like you. And you've got lots of them now. Yes, thousands. Hooray! Elves like tooting their horns. And we're elves. Oh, no! Cover your ears. 